welcome to the Union Awards 2020. Every year we come together to celebrate and recognise our fantastic Students Union volunteers. And this year's award ceremony may be slightly different, but we really hope you enjoy watching and clapping along as we celebrate our fantastic volunteers. Volunteering within the SU comes in different forms. We have academic reps, student council, inspiring projects, media, sports and societies and each of whom play a vital role in our membership and make our Students' Union a friendly and exciting place to be. These awards are completely student-led, from nomination to shortlisting, and they are designed to recognise the hard work the volunteers have put in during this academic year. Students have nominated their peers in 18 categories, and this year we also had our brand new SU Volunteer Manager of the Year Award, which saw eight members of our fabulous SU staff who are nominated and have supported you during your volunteering journey. The nominations are then compiled, nominated and reviewed by a panel consisting of student volunteers and your elected officers. It was an absolute pleasure reading over your nominations and to hear about all your amazing work that you do as volunteers. On behalf of the Students' Union, we would like to congratulate all of the nominees for this year's awards, those who have been shortlisted and all the students who took time out to nominate their peers. Congratulations also to those who have volunteered over 90 hours to receive the gold and highly commended Livesey Award certificates. We'll make sure all of you will get your certificates when we can. Every minute spent by students volunteering within our Students' Union has accumulated into an amazing year for all of us to celebrate. I will now hand you over to Graham Baldwin, our UCLan Vice-Chancellor. Hello, my name is Graham Baldwin and it gives me a great pleasure to have the opportunity to speak to you on the evening of your Union Awards. Uh, this university is a fantastic place and achieves many, many significant and really great things. And that's all down to the people within the university, both uh, staff, but of course, uh, very much students. And I want to congratulate all of you who have achieved such a great deal and who have been nominated tonight. I want to particularly uh, recognise the work, uh, significant work of the student volunteers there's so much volunteering activity that takes place across the university, across the city and through the region. And what you do there is not only improve the lives of those people you're volunteering to support, but of course you represent the university very significantly. And I very much appreciate that. I also just wanted to be very clear and note the really good working relationship that the university has with the student union uh, and I would like to go on record uh, and thank all of the SU, uh, the exec members for the significant contribution that you've made this year, the help and support you've given to us uh, within the university and, uh, and to thank you. And I guess it just remains for me to say to all of you, uh, once again, thank you. Uh, congratulations to you all. And I very much wish you a wonderful evening. Thanks very much and have a good time. To make tonight an enjoyable experience for all, please congratulate all of the winners and nominees using our chat function and feel free to applaud from the comfort of your own homes as we discover our winners. Now I'd like to welcome our current VP Media, Dan Carver, to present the first award. Thank you, Sonny. The first award tonight is for Media Newcomer of the Year. This award is for a volunteer who joined Pulse Media from June 2019 onwards. This volunteer will have hit the ground running, brought fresh ideas to their platforms and made a clear impact on student media. The nominees are Callum Wilkins for being a dedicated, eager and enthusiastic member of Pulse Media. The articles he has written inspire others to write and create discussions among students about the media they consume. George Stevens for his groundbreaking Sexual Health Awareness radio show, which is presented by George and other members of the Sexual Health Awareness group. His attitude to his show was described as exemplary to all others. Peter Simpkins for being an asset to the Pulse TV team. When other people weren't able to help, he has been there and has done everything he can to make Pulse TV the best it can be. And Adam Hurd for taking on the head of music position and making it his own. He has taken it upon himself to research and implement several procedures that bring the radio station up to date, which means that for the first time in three years, Pulse Radio has had a continuous flow of updated music coming in and being played. The winner of this award has been nominated for giving up his time and effort for student media in aid of the students, being passionate and committed, and for his amazing contributions to Pulse Media. And the winner is... Callum Wilkins! Congratulations Callum, I'd like to now hand over to Sophie to present the next award. 
Thanks, Dan. This next award is for Society Member of the Year. This award is for a member of the society who, time and time again, is a person that strives to give 100% to the society and is an inspiration to others in societies, as well as being a fantastic representation of the Student Union. The nominees are Courtney Flanagan for her role as Social Circ of Yukon's Japanese Society. Courtney has consistently supported the society in all their ventures throughout the year and has gone above and beyond to make every event memorable, including collaborating with other societies on events. Florence Shepherd, for her role on the committee of UCLan LGBT Plus Society. She has organised several LGBT Plus events by herself and has strived to ensure that the society caters to as many of the students as possible by varying the events that were held throughout the year. Vanessa Fairhurst for her role as the chair on the Physics Society. She has always put all of her passion and effort into the society, creating new and exciting events each year, including sending her members on a once in a lifetime trip to Hawaii. Nikita Holmes, for her role as chair on the Student Mind Society, Nikita is fully committed to helping students improve and understand their mental health and gives 110% to everything she does for the society. The positive difference her hard work has made during the COVID-19 pandemic was also mentioned. The winning individual has been nominated for her hard work, determination and uplifting attitude being the heart of the society and was described in one nomination as being nothing short of amazing. And this year's winner of Society Member of the Year 2020 is... Courtney Flanagan! Congratulations! Woohoo! Well done on becoming this year's Society Member of the Year. I would now like to pass back to Sunny to present the next award. Thank you. The next award is for Campaign for Change Award. This award is about a campaign that has made change for students. These are individuals or groups who have taken a lead this year and a campaign to make change. The shortlist of campaigns have achieved impacts for students, had a clear aim and done something particularly creative. The nominees are the Time to Change Champions Group and the UCLan Student Mind Society for the collaborative effort this year to combat mental health, stigma and discrimination. The Time to Change Champions have organised several events over the year to get people talking. And the Student Mind Society have campaigned really hard to improve the mental health services at UCLan. And together they have had a huge impact on how seriously mental health is taken at the university. Angie Solomon, for working alongside the Campaigns and Democracy Coordinator to create her Empower Her campaign. One part of this campaign involved Angie obtaining a mannequin, dressing it up with a crop top and shorts and a message, My clothes are not my consent. This enabled Angie and other student volunteers to have conversations with lots of students about sexual violence and consent which changed people's mindsets. Nikita Holmes, for her work raising awareness of mental health issues. Nikita has raised awareness about key issues such as suicide prevention, mental health during postgraduate research and, and shared top tips for general issues such as loneliness, anxiety and how your mental health may be affected as a student at university. Through Nikita's work, these have become less taboo topics within the SU and the university. The winning nominee has run events, collaborated with societies and support teams, raised money and is described as doing invaluable work. And the winner is... Time to Change Champions Group and the UCLan Student Mind Society for a second year running. Congratulations guys. And I'd like to hand you over to Steph to present the next award. The next award is for the Course Rep of the Year. This award recognises the Course Rep which has been consistently active over the year, voicing the opinions of all students on their course by regularly attending student staff liaison committees and building relationships well with students, academics and union officers. They have demonstrated and built upon good organisation and interpersonal skills. They have shown that they can help their peers in a range of ways, from signposting to supporting and responding to feedback in a timely fashion. The nominees are Rawan Al Rabai, course rep for Year 2 Medicine, for supporting the students on her course throughout the year, but particularly through the COVID 19 pandemic. Devanshi Patel, 
course rep for Foundation Engineering for going above and beyond what is expected of her and treating everyone with care and attention. Florence Shepherd, course rep for MSC Counterterrorism for taking her role seriously and maintaining a professional attitude and going out of her way to discuss issues and provide feedback to her course. And Bev Simpson, course rep for LPC, for sorting out issues and not being afraid to have difficult conversations. Because of Bev, students feel like their voices are heard within the school. The course rep winner has made important changes to her course and is described as full of ideas and brings so much joy to our little class. Her hard work since COVID-19 was mentioned numerous times and how she's kept in regular contact with her course mates, feeding back answers to any queries that they might have. And the winner is... Florence Shepherd. Congratulations, Flo. And now I'd like to hand over to Dan to present the next award. Thank you very much, Steph. The next award is for Media Contribution of the Year. This celebrates a show, video, article, campaign or event that has raised the profile of Pulse Media across the student body, had a wide reach and involved not only current members of Pulse but students from the wider community as well. The nominees are the Let's Talk About Sex radio show team. This new radio show was started in November 2019 and has brought brand new topics of conversation related to human sexuality and gender to Pulse Media. The students involved have worked hard to make their discussions accurate, interesting and light-hearted. The Pulse TV team elections coverage. These volunteers broadcast the elections live so that students who could not attend were able to watch the election results online. This was particularly important as it came just before lockdown when a number of students were already self-isolating. There were over 1,500 views on the video which is the most they've had in three years. The winner of this award was described as raising the profile of Pulse Media by showing that what students can do when they put their mind to it, as well as raising the bar for next year. And the winner is... Microphone problems. The winner is Pulse TV Team's election coverage. Congratulations guys, I'd like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. Thanks Dan. This next award is for Best New Society. This award recognises a new society that's been started since the last Union Awards. Getting a society up and running can be difficult and recognition needs to be given to groups that are perhaps a little bit smaller but are coming on leaps and bounds in progress. The nominees are... Sikh Society for bringing the committee back after at least five years without an affiliated Sikh society. They have had an amazing first meet and greet event with substantial amount of people in attendance and have even built relationships with the Sikh community off campus. Happy Snappers for photographing an impressive range of events throughout the year and despite finding it hard to get things up and running during the COVID-19 pandemic, they have created a two week project challenge to keep their members busy and creating images. Fame Society for being one of the few societies that have been able to achieve their prime goal of making a safe space for BAME students on campus. Throughout their variety of events, they have been able to ensure that BAME students on campus have a space to meet, socialise and feel heard and understood. The winning group were described as an absolute pleasure to work with and mentioned for their brilliant activity ideas and being so reliable. And the winner is... Seek Society, congratulations on being this year's Best New Society. I would like to now pass it on to Steph for the next award. Thank you. The next award is for Council Member of the Year, which I was lucky enough to receive last year. This award recognises the Council Member, which has been consistently active over the year, supporting big ideas as well as representing students on a daily basis 
and voicing the opinions of those students at council meetings. They have supported and or ran campaigns whilst having demonstrated passion, knowledge and effective communication with both elected officers and the union throughout their role. The nominees are Nikita Holmes for working with the officer team this year to ensure that disabled student voices are heard and eloquently standing up for the rights of students. She consistently attends all training and communities and passes on the feedback she has received from disabled students. Stephen Goff Kelly for his professionalism and talent in the role of Chair of Council. Stephen deserves to be recognised for the skills required to balance a professional committee whilst maintaining a fun and engaging atmosphere. Anjola Angie Suleiman for being the Student Council Women's Rep and her fantastic campaign, Empower Her. Angie also put a great deal of time and effort into ensuring her big idea let's talk about consent baby, had the required 50 votes to be discussed at the student council meetings. The winner of this award has been described by fellow council members as a glowing example to all who wish to become a representative on student council of how to work effectively to make life better for students. And the winner is Nikita Holmes! Congratulations, Nikita. I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. Thanks. <laughs> this next award is for Best Society Event of the Year. This is awarded to a group that really goes the extra mile on a certain event and demonstrates the time, passion and effort that went into it. The success of the event isn't necessarily measured by numbers, but the enjoyment felt by a diverse range of individuals who are involved with the Student Union. The nominees are Japanese Society's Bunkasai event for hosting an amazing day with loads of different activities from fashion shows and university networking to balloon animals and food. The Society were very welcoming and the event was fun, educational and engaging. Musical Theatre Society's Adams Family Musical for their professional show which showcased the very best of the society. The dedication, drive and passion that the cast and crew put into this production was second to none. They had a fantastic reception to the musical with sold out shows and rave reviews. Student Minds and Disabled Students Society Speed Friending event for their collaborative event which recognised that loneliness among students is a huge problem and aimed to combat this by meeting new people in a calm and peaceful environment. It was a really positive event and everyone went away with at least one new friend. Chinese Society's Chinese New Year Gala for their wonderful event which was attended by many international students as well as local people. As well as decorating the venue and performing on stage, the Chinese Society prepared drinks, Chinese paper cuts and snacks for all 250 guests. The winner of this award has had their event described as the best experience I've ever had. With all members collaborating on this event, another nomination said it was definitely one of my greatest achievements. The winner is... Musical Theatre's Adam's Family Musical. Congratulations everyone who was involved. Um, I would like now to pass back over to Sunny. <laughs> it is now time for our Gold Livesey Award commendations. At this point, we usually award the certificates to the volunteers who have completed 90 hours of volunteering within the Students' Union. Our volunteers play such a key role in the key activities we do. Even though we can't give you your certificates yet, we still want to say a huge thank you to all those people who have spent so much of their time volunteering for us. Certificates will be given or sent to you when we can, but here are all the people that have completed the Gold Livesey Award this year. Congratulations. We would now like to recognise participants in this year's Volunteer Leadership Camp. In February, 25 volunteers from all areas of the Union attended our Volunteer Leadership Camp at Guy's Farm Activity Centre. 
They developed key skills such as teamwork, leadership and communication through outdoor activities as well as skill building sessions which they can then implement into their clubs, societies and volunteering projects. We'll be sending your certificates to you all as soon as possible but in the meantime here are some of the exciting things they got up to. for part two of the Union Awards where we have more awards to present to our amazing volunteers. Without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Dan to get us started. Thank you very much. The next award is for Media Volunteer of the Year. This award is for a volunteer who has gone above and beyond to make a real lasting change to student media. This volunteer will have demonstrated unparalleled commitment to student media, inspired other volunteers and represented the brand positively throughout the year. The nominees are Gemma Nettle for contributing to the social media promotion which ensured that more students are volunteering to be members of the ever-growing Pulse community as well as managing and editing every article that goes online. Described as having written some brilliant articles, conducted interviews and assisted with writing up elections coverage. Dean commits this for going above and beyond with his dedication to Pulse TV. During elections result prep night, Dean worked hard to plan and find volunteers for the stream with the elections results being watched by over 1,500 viewers thanks to his hard work. The winning nominee is described as the most hard working person I've ever met and everyone should strive to be like them. And the winner is... Gemma Nettle! Congratulations Gemma, I'd like to hand over to Steph to present the next award. Thank you very much. The next idea is for the idea of the year. This award is for the big idea that has had the greatest impact on students, the student experience and the university itself. These ideas have created positive and meaningful change and had a reach that is both widely and deeply felt. The nominees are Let's Talk About Consent Baby by Anjola Angie Suleiman. 
This big idea is to introduce consent workshops that will be part of a wider campaign to take preventative steps around sexual harassment and assault on our campus. Just one of the aims is to collaboratively set a culture that mutually establishes what amounts to unacceptable behaviour. Sustainable Campus by 2040 by Richard Craig. This idea set out 10 key recommendations for UCLAN to become as self-sustainable as possible, whilst also helping to tackle climate change. The ideas proposed have been added into agenda items with a view of taking specific steps to reduce the carbon footprint of the university. Polyamory discrimination is not acceptable by George Stevens. This big idea received the highest number of votes in total for your big ideas this academic year. George has presented to the university on how they could work with and support many polyamory non-monogamy students and how these measures could be implemented within university services such as student services and counselling. The winning idea was nominated for having the scope to solve issues and make sure all students are on the same page when it comes to what consent is, how to ask for it and what it looks like. And the winner is... Let's talk about consent, baby! Congratulations, Angie! I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. The next award is for Inspiring Project Volunteer of the Year. This is for the Inspiring Project Volunteer who makes a valued difference to the lives of those they help and support. They are a positive ambassador for their projects, engage in different aspects of the project and its development, make a valued difference to others and go above and beyond the expectations of their role. The nominees are... B. Holmes, for being on the planning committee of the Craft and Food Fair, throwing herself into each job asked of her. Her hard work can also be seen at one-off Wednesday events, positively impacting the lives of UCLAN students and the local community. George Stevens, for being a vital member of the Sexual Health Awareness Group for the past three years. He has created resources and raised awareness about polyamorous relationships for both UCLAN Pride and the SHAG Polyamory event and worked with Pulse Media to create the Shag radio show, Let's Talk About Sex. Stephanie Afifi. Stephanie has been described in nominations as the heart and soul of Scram. Making events livelier and well organized and inspiring others to get involved with cooking. Her help in recruiting more Scram volunteers has ensured that the project can continue into the future. Nikita Holmes. Nikita always gets involved in all aspects of a project and doesn't shy away from any job that is asked of her. She regularly participates in one-off Wednesdays as a positive ambassador for the Craft and Food Fair and has helped to tackle mental health stigma and discrimination through her work with the Time to Change project. The winner of this award has been described as consistently taking charge within the group and helping to ensure that events are successful and encouraging other volunteers to make their voice heard. The winner is... George Stevens, congratulations, you are this year's Inspiring Projects Volunteer of the Year. I would now like to pass back over to Sunny to present the next award. The next award is for Charity Fundraiser of the Year. This award is for the group who have made a valuable difference to the lives of others through the fundraising activity. Not just about the amount, but also about the impact and innovation. And the nominees are... You Clash Students Mind, for their innovative raffle to raise money for Lancashire LGBT at UCLAN Pride, as well as spending a lot of time sourcing appropriate prices from local companies and organisations. They also created two goodie bags which were full to the brim with self-care items and these were used as prizes. The raffles were a huge success and they managed to raise £300 for the chosen charity. Trampoline Society for the 24-hour sponsored bounce to raise money for the Richmond Fellowship, which is a charity that supports local people in a mental health crisis. During the event, they bounce for 24 hours solid, including a quiet hour for those with autism and disabilities with families, and students from all over the Northwest attended and enjoyed themselves. The event aimed to bring people together in a fun way to talk about mental health and raised over 500 pounds for the club and charity. Men's football for the charity seven-a-side tournament and take me out events. 
tournament was a big success with between 80 to 100 students turning up to take part and raising £300 for the East Christie Development Centre. And the Take Me Out was one of the most successful entertaining events hosted this year with 200 students attending and raising over £1,000 for Older Hay Children's Hospital. The winners of this award put in an amazing amount of time and effort as a committee to help fundraise for a brilliant charity which was acknowledged in one of the nominee nominations which said that the work really paid off. And the winner is you clash in my society. Now I'd like to hand you over to Steph who will present the next award. Thank you very much. Our next award is for the School President of the Year. This award recognises the School President who has been consistently active over the year, voicing the opinions of all students within their school by regularly meeting with senior staff, union officers and course reps. They will have actively engaged with the Students' Council and have responded to feedback when arisen by demonstrating good organisation and communication skills, as well as effectively closing the feedback loop. And the nominees are Hamza Ezzajawi from the School of Medicine for creating the survey system to make sure students could express their opinions. He is described as making sure every student in the school feels heard. He also helped the School of Medicine in their journey to be awarded accreditation from the General Medical Council. Carly Metcalf, the Centre of Excellence in Learning and Teaching, for truly having the student voice at the centre of her work. She has made a difference in being approachable, being accountable and in supporting students to access the support that they need. David Bromelow, the School of Social Work, Care and Community for ensuring that feedback from SSLCs was listened to and acted upon and creating a teams group for all course reps within Social Work, Care and Community to ensure that the feedback is still listened to during the university closure. This person has been given this award due to their impact not only on their school but others as well and is described as an absolute joy to work with as a school president. The winner is... Carly Metcalf! Congratulations Carly! And now I'd like to hand over to Sophie who will present the next award. The next award is for Social Sport Volunteer of the Year. This award is for standout volunteer within the union's provision for social and recreational sport. This person will have shown a passion and commitment to improving the student experience through sport at a participation level. The nominees are Charlie Lucas for setting up St Peter's Football Club to ensure people who weren't successful in trials or missed the trials could still play with a great mix of students. They now have a squad of 30 with a range of nationalities and have formed friendships that have seen them socialising outside of training and match days. Sophie Offord for helping on Thursday night futsal sessions and setting up mixed summer futsal sessions last summer to allow more people to get involved so they weren't missing training and could meet new people. Nathan Morgan Astor for working hard to ensure the success of UCLan Rovers in the league, plus organising days out and other activities to really bring out the team cohesion. Josh Hallows, for creating a new team in the Student Union League, Flood City FC, he has been holding weekly training sessions with professional drills for players to improve their ability, which were open to all players in the league. He has also gained four sponsorship deals, designed the kit and made a website for the team. The winner of this award has made a fantastic contribution to social sport at UPlan SU and has been described as spending up to 12 hours a week at the arena. And the winner is... Josh Hallows! Congratulations Josh! Next up we have Dan to present the next award. Thank you very much. Our next award is for the Inspiring Project of the Year. This award is for the SU Inspiring Project that has made the most significant difference to UCLan students and all the local community over the past year. Nominations for these projects demonstrated the impact and how the project has raised awareness of a particular issue, as well as how it has developed the volunteers involved. 
the nominees are Scran for being a great student-led social enterprise that is about bringing people together with food through cook and eat sessions, running one-off Wednesdays and having stalls at the craft and food fair. It gives students the opportunity to learn more about healthy eating and sustainability and the volunteers gain experiences in the local community. Dementia Friends for being a new project already making a difference in the community. The dedicated volunteers have raised money for the Alzheimer's Society and ran a music and mocktails event in a local care home, which was a wonderful opportunity for the volunteers to get to know some of the elderly community of Preston. Craft and Food Fair for their brilliant events which help support local businesses and also introduce and educate students on the local produce available to them. This project also equips volunteers with a broad range of transferable skills and the impact can be clearly seen by measuring the amount of people who actually attend the fairs and reading the overwhelmingly positive feedback they receive. Shag for working incredibly hard this year to produce a variety of amazing events including on-campus HIV testing, LGBTQ plus history month stalls, and raising money for the HIV charity Renaissance with their stall of home handmade goods at the Craft and Foods Fair. This group have also started their own radio show for this year to further educate people on various sexual health matters. The winning project's volunteers have gone above and beyond to reach out to a wide variety of students on campus to provide information and support, with their events being described as varied and informative. They've created a space for students to learn, as well as helping the volunteers develop their skills and become more confident with public speaking. And the winner is... Shag, the Sexual Health Awareness Group. Congratulations, Shag. I'd like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. <laughs> the next award is for Society of the Year. This award is given to the society that continuously excels in providing the best experience for their members. They have high levels of community engagement that inspires others to get involved, and they strive to have a variety of activities that are available to all their members. The nominees are Islamic Society for their dedication and hard work running multiple events and meals throughout the year to reach out to their members. They are described in nominations as welcoming to all students, regardless of faith and exceeding students' expectations. They have also had a number of fundraisers to help different charities in creative ways. Engineering Society for their educational and interesting range of projects, which has seen 70 members sign up. They've been accepted into two international competitions, organised extracurricular workshop sessions with technicians and run bi-weekly socials for their members. Indian Society for their hard work in organising events to help connect Indian students studying at UCLan and working with the Sikh temple and Hindu temple in order to give their members the best experience. Student Mind Society for their hard work of the committee, giving up their spare time to attend training courses to empower them to take action and create positive change for students. They have supported National Mental Health Days and created Take 5 kits to educate students about how important self-care is, which they handed out to new students at the Society's Fair. The Winning Society has an incredible impact on their members, with 18 nominations for the same society. Many of their nominations describe how they bring people together and make them feel a part of something bigger. And the winner is... Islamic Society! Congratulations, guys! I would now like to pass on to Nikita Holmes, last year's Union Volunteer of the Year winner. I'm very pleased to be asked to shortlist and present this next award for SU Volunteer Manager of the Year. This new award is for the Students' Union Volunteer Manager who has made the most difference to the volunteers within their department or area. This manager will be nominated for supporting and inspiring students over the past year to enable them to get the most out of their time at UCLan. As a volunteer across a number of areas of the Students' Union, I have seen the hard work that goes into managing us volunteers. I would like to say a massive well done to all of the staff members who were nominated in this category. However, the shortlist is Carl Brown for being committed to making the student experience as enjoyable and exciting as possible. He is well liked and respected by everyone in the SU League, at managing and developing teams in his own time. He maintains 
a welcome presence, whoever he is dealing with, and will always do his best to help get people involved in sport wherever he can. Nick Roberts for being an absolute asset to the academic representation family this year. She has massively contributed to the experiences of course reps and school presidents this year, constantly engaging with students to ensure that they feel supported, as well as organising the course rep conference, which was a hugely positive experience for all who attended. Cooper Rapata for supporting many student volunteers with their campaigns this year, including empowering two student council representatives to bring their visions to life. Cooper always takes time out for students, helping them with the campaigning ideas, but also getting to know them as individuals and making sure that they are doing well with their studies, whilst inspiring them to think about their future within the union and beyond. So it's my pleasure to announce that the winner is... Nick Roberts. Congratulations, Nick. I'd like to now hand over to Steph for some more Livingston Award winners. It is now the time we would usually present our highly commended Livesey Award certificates. These are awarded to those students who have achieved their bronze, silver and gold awards and have continued to volunteer for the Students' Union. These students are all graduating this year, so this is their last Union Awards. And on behalf of the officers, I'd like to thank them for making life better for students. Unfortunately, we can't present their certificates to them just now, but we will make sure to get them to them as soon as possible. Congratulations to all of these amazing volunteers for your hard work throughout your time at UFAC. Catherine Ajalo, 114 hours. Armin Pishro, 164 hours. Robin Agar, 138 hours. Richard Craig, 179.5 hours. Zuleika Chi, 199.5 hours. David Bromlow, 201.5 hours. Dean Kamitsis, 141 hours. Benjamin Folds, 149 hours. Karenel Gums Romney, 108.5 hours. Catherine Perrin Griffiths, 605 hours. James McGowan, 175 hours. Zoe Catlett, 108.5 hours. Tegan Lambert, 142.5 hours. Tracy Ackrell, 109 hours. Matthew Hudson, 102 hours. Rory McCarb O'Kelly, 170 hours. Sean Leong, 260 hours. Florence Shepherd, 161 hours. Samaya Raham, 182 hours. Stephanie Afifi, 242.5 hours. Fantastic work, everybody. And now I'll hand over to Suntosh for the final award of the evening. Our final award for the evening is for the Union Volunteer of the Year. This award is for the Standout Volunteer of the Year and can be in any area of the Union. And we recognise the, the volunteer who has gone the extra mile this year and done something truly special. Nominees are Dean Kamitas for being a brilliant student trustee and contributing to all of the Union Board meetings as well as his amazing work with Pulse TV on their lectures coverage. Also helped the union become more inclusive when it comes to deaf and hard of hearing community, such as when he organised International Day of Persons and Disabilities events in December last year. B. Holmes for her fantastic work with the Craft and Food Fair Inspiring Project, her role as a course rep and her involvement in one of Wednesdays. B. B has always been there to help anyone who needs it, no matter their role in volunteering, and will do always go out of her way to do anything she can for those around her. Nikita Holmes for demonstrating what it truly means for being an outstanding volunteer in a range of areas across the union. From her work with inspiring projects such as the Craft of Food Fair and Time to Change to her role as co-founder and chair of UCLA Student Minds, as well as sitting on the student council as the disability students representative, Nikita does it all and does it with enthusiasm. 
Catherine Perry Griffiths for going above and beyond her duties as trampoline sports team captain, as well as making sure the whole team are involved in SU activities. Kat has also put forward two big ideas to try and improve life for students and played a key role in getting trampoline to be a varsity sport. Kat is so dedicated to the SU and her passion shines through everything she does. The winner of this award has been described as being a fantastic individual who always wants the best for students and will do the utmost in helping others. They've also made lives better for students through volunteering for a range of union opportunities. And the Union Volunteer of the Year Award goes to Dean Kavitas! Congratulations Dean! I'm now going to hand you over to Peter Shields for Godwin, our UCLA Students Union CEO, for his closing remarks. Hi everyone. First of all, I just want to say a really massive thank you to everybody involved in creating this video, uh, which is a fantastic replacement uh, for our annual student awards ceremony. Like you, I guess I would much prefer to be in Preston at the Student Union and celebrating together, but that's not where we are in the world at the moment. And this is a fantastic alternative and a great opportunity to celebrate the excellent work of all our volunteers. So to every volunteer, to those nominated and to the winners, thank you very much for your contribution to the life of the Student Union and the vibrancy of a fantastic uh, campus. As I say, we're not able to be together, but around me where I am locked down at home, I can see fantastic examples of how volunteers are looking in helping out, supporting friends and family, uh, looking after the vulnerable. And volunteering really does have the opportunity to change lives. So when you move on from UCLan or you come back in the autumn or whenever we meet again, I hope we'll carry on volunteering and making a great contribution to the Student Union. Thanks. Thank you to Pete for those words of wisdom. The final thing for me to say is we would love your feedback about your experience of volunteering with the SU by filling out our volunteering experience survey. It should only take a few minutes and you could win one of five £20 Amazon vouchers for completing it. We'll post the link in the comments and you've got until the end of June to fill it in. So that's it. Thank you for watching our award ceremony and a massive congratulations to all the nominees and of course the winners. We hope that you managed to have a great summer and we will hopefully see you all in person very soon. Bye.